Hi everyone, today let's deploy our project onto the internet. Our project has a client folder having front-end app, and server folder which has Node.js Express server. Front-end is a React application, built using Vite. So, first let's run the app locally. We are currently in client directory, so use the command npm run dev to run the front app. And now run the Node.js server by running npm run dev start. Note that you might have different commands to start your projects. Now that our server and front end is running, let's preview them. Let's fill in wrong details here in login page. We got an alert for error, that means everything is working. Now, if we want to deploy our app, first we have to have git initialized in our app, and latest code should be pushed to the main branch, which will be used as source for the deployment. As you can see, here working tree is clean and everything is updated. We are using Versal to deploy frontend app, and our Vite application is a React app with router. So we need to have a versal.json file, which will redirect the roots to index.html file. This file should be in root of the project folder. If you have environment variables, then we also have to update them while deploying. Here in index.js file of the server, you have to use environment variables to add link of the front end app to the allowed origin for cores otherwise there will be an error after deployment. If we don't do that we might get an cores error. We will have to upload these environment variables while deployment. Okay so, let's start by first deploying the front-end app on Versal. So for that you have to go Versal's website and create an account. Then create a new project. Here connect your GitHub account or any other source code repo hosting provider's account and then choose your project repository. Then choose Vite for framework. And select the source folder for the project. In this case client folder is the source. And then copy the environment variables from your local env file and paste them here. You can change any if you want to. And then click deploy and done, your project is now going to be live in few seconds. Here it's deployed, you see the preview and click on it to visit it. Now go to different routes to check if everything is working as expected. Now that our front end is up, let's deploy the server, for that visit the site render.com and create an account on it. Then click on New and Web Services from your dashboard. Then connect your GitHub account and select your project repository. Now give it a name. Select nearest region for the server location. Now add the root folder for the source of the project. In this case it's slash server. Then select runtime as node and add build and start commands. Click on Advance and add your environment variables file there.
After that click on create web services and done, your server will be online in few seconds. Here you can see the server logs. Now just wait for it to install packages and to run the server. By the time server starts, copy the IP addresses from here, these are the IP addresses which will be used by the server, so we should add them in the MongoDB network access IP addresses list. Else it can't access the database. I have already done that. You can see in the logs that server is running. Now copy this link, this is the link to which front end app will request for data. Paste this link in environment variables for base URL for production. I have already done that. Then redeploy the front end app from the dashboard. Now, that our server is up and running and also the front-end app so let's test it. Now let's log in the user. Our login is working as expected. Let's log out and create a new account. We are going to use the same email so first let's delete the user from database. Now register root is also working as expected. Let's see if we have got the email with login link after successful registration. We have received the email, let's log in from here. Now let's log out and try to log in with wrong credentials. Now let's try to register the same user again. Now let's check if forgot password works.
Password reset was successful, let's log in with new password.